this Real Housewives of Potomac review. So this season has been off the chain um, between the girls like going Bad Girls Club on me. Like I'm like, what am I watching? Is this Bad Girls Club? Yes, I've been missing this show. It's just so powerful, but so is your to play victim who does that who does that who does that like you cannot have all that mouth listen okay i understand if your mouth is lethal monique is too but the only thing is is that you know monique back that shit up i understand if you don't have all that mouth you gotta be ready you got to be ready all right and Candace, you just wasn't ready. You wasn't ready. Okay? And that's the fuck up part. That's 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 your fault. That's your fault. You should have been ready. There's a lot of people that talk shit, okay? But, you know, you also have to know how to back that shit up. And if you don't know how to back that shit up, you know, continue to talk your shit. Just understand. Asking to be drugged like a bitch might actually do it. You know what I mean? Like, you might actually get drugged, okay? Those security guards was not around, and the other cast members, you would have been across that table, boo. You would have been across that table. So I'm just saying, like, if you're not a fighter, that's okay. Everybody can't throw down. You just, uh, you just shouldn't have all that. If you're not a fighter. That's all I'm saying. Because even though what Monique did, the adult in me is speaking. The adult in me is speaking now. So we're not perfect, okay? And eventually, someone is not going to be able to deal with whatever it is that you're saying. And they just feel like you need like a little, you know, like a little, like a little tap, tap, pow, pow, you know, upside the back of your head. And a little tug, you know, but she could get that shit off. What you need to be doing instead of going to court trying to get her in jail, because that shit ain't gonna happen. The court, the judge gonna see that ain't gonna happen. I think that's already been thrown out, okay? What you need to be doing, girl, give me my cut, all right? You need to be investing in whatever that was that you were using to make that hair stay on. And you need to sell that to Mona Scott okay of loving hip-hop and bad girls club because they need that because your shit stayed the fuck on i was impressed i was impressed with the amount of dragging that was happening and your hair stayed on i was impressed i want my cut i went in want my cut all right now you know leading up to this fight even though Monique, like, you know, has said some stuff about dragging you if she wasn't pregnant, I think that she was trying to, I don't really think that her intentions was really to fight you when she did. I think shit just happened, like sometimes it does. Um, and I believe that, you know, what was happening behind the scenes, of course, you know, most people should know this, but anybody who don't, you know, Sharice, who used to be on the show, she was passing around a rumor that Monique's ex-friend, who's bitter, you know, who's, they, they're no longer friends, and the girl's bitter now, okay? So she's going around spreading these rumors that, that Monique is having, um, was having an affair with the trainer, and the baby of Monique is not Chris. Her husband. Her husband. Did you hear me? Her husband. Like, how the fuck can you sit here and be okay with a rumor like that? And then you're spreading the shit. And then, like, you think... And then you're befriending the bitch who's spreading the shit. And y'all weren't even friends at first, okay? Her and Candace got in an argument 
that looked like it was about to go somewhere on the bus, like a couple of seasons ago. But now all of a sudden, you this this you y'all y'all friends now, but you and Monique is supposed to be good friends. So I see why Monique feels fucked up about you, okay? And I feel like Monique was trying not to go there. I, I feel like she was trying her hardest not to. Like she was working, you know how you're working it out of your head. Like somebody did something fucked up to you, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I like I, this was my friend, but it's still in the back of your head. Like, damn, they wanna say like, well, why she didn't go off on Sharice, or why she didn't go off on um, you know? Now I can't remember if uh, if her and Sharice was close like that, but I feel like if Sharice and this other girl who initially spread the rumor. I feel like if they were put in positions to be around each other this many times, I feel like some shit would have popped off with them as well, okay? I really do. The fact that they weren't around each other, that makes it a little bit different. Because even at the party, before, at the get-together where they fought, Monique hugged Candace. So, I don't feel like she went in there with the intentions of pimp slapping her in the back of the head. You know what I'm saying? So, I gotta tell y'all something. Um, I was looking at the tape. It looked like when um, Candace touched her on her shirt, it looked like Giselle pushed her. She pushed her. She pushed Monique. She pushed Monique, all right? I, I, I'm just saying, I ain't trying to start no shit. All right, but I'm just saying it looked like Giselle, who don't like Monique because she got four houses, it looked like she pushed Monique when Candace touched her. So when you're in the in a, like heated, like you know you you ready you y'all arguing, you know you don't like this bitch. Y'all drinking, whoop de whoop and somebody touch you or push you, and it's kind of like, things can get blurry. You can black out from situations. You don't know what the fuck happened. So, I'm not justifying her. Like I said, the adult in me is saying that Monique shouldn't have did that, all right? But Candace needs to take accountability. Even her own therapist was asking her, what do you think you've done to contribute to this? And this girl don't think that she's done anything, okay? So, you know, this girl now is like trying to file charges on Monique. But my thing is this. You didn't file charges when your mother popped you in the head with her purse, all right? Was you traumatized? Because that's what you really should be traumatized about. Your mother hit you in the damn head with a purse. Was you traumatized when you had that knife on Ashley and she, you was waving it around and somebody had to like literally like grab it out of your hand or, or make it come out of your hand? Was you traumatized then? No, you wasn't. I'm sorry. Nobody with that much mouth can be bullied. All right. You have too much mouth. You can defend yourself verbally. Verbally. But you better be glad that Ashley is not as petty as you. And she even said that shit. Like, Ashley even said that. Like, you know, y'all sitting here acting like y'all don't do shit and blah, blah. But, you know, you had a damn knife on Ashley. Come on, girl. And then the other girls want to act like they don't do shit. Robin, run up and get done up. You running up in Monique's face. Is that okay? Is that okay? To run up. In Monique's face, talking all this shit, like you was literally this close to her. Really close to her. You was really close to her. And like, she had to like put the umbrella up. You were about to get choked out. You was about to get choked out. <laughs> you was about to get choked out. And then, hold on, Giselle, you, Giselle, yo ass. Girl, man, you talking about raw models? Are you kidding me, girl? Is she for real? Do 
she not know that she's setting a bad example for her kids? Taking a man back that has cheated on her and that has had outside kids on her ass. Whole pastor, whole first lady, starting more shit than a little bit. So how the hell is Monique a bad role model, girl? Then what are you? What are you? Who said that? Who said that? I'm just saying. And oh, let's get on Wendy ass, Miss I done had five degrees and I'm on this channel and that channel and y'all setting a bad example and making us look like angry black women. I mean, I don't, I don't have five degrees, but I'm going to try to explain something to you. Okay. Um, so, you don't actually have to have a reputation of being an angry black woman just because you uh, put your hands on someone. I don't know if you know that um, by you been you know having five degrees and all, but um, you can actually be labeled as an angry black woman. You know, like just being angry and like yelling and shit like that for no fucking reason. I'm just saying, like when you like example, okay? Because I like to PowerPoint. I don't have my PowerPoint. It, it broke down. Um. When you was mad at Ashley for bringing her baby to the party, little Dylan, you was mad at little Dylan. And like, he was like yelling and all this shit and like going off and I could have brought my baby and well shit, you didn't ask. And like, you're new. So, and Ashley's been here like since forever. And so, you know, you kind of came off Especially because you're new, people don't really know you, and all this, and it's like it really wasn't Ashley's fault, okay? So, yeah, girl, you came off as angry, like really angry. I'm just saying, like, how do you talk about someone being an angry black woman, and just like not too long ago, you was doing the same shit, but you didn't, you didn't put your hands on no one. I, I I'll give you that. But that's, that's still the fucking same stereotype. You was angry. We're not gonna pretend like your ass never seen any type of episodes of Real Housewives, okay? I don't give a fuck if it was a Real Housewives on Sesame Street. You are not gonna pretend like you don't know what these shows are. I'm motherfucking about. Don't nobody want to see no boring ass shit. We want to see action. So if you know that you can't fight, stop talking shit. Or talk shit a little bit and, and then keep it moving. Talk shit a little bit and keep it moving. But you all up in a uh, close enough to get touched, that's too close. You need to shut up, Candace. Okay? You got too much damn math, girl. Prime example. Um, they was at the party at the last in the last sit down that they had, okay? You still talking shit. Your husband had to tell you to shut up. He tell he had to tell you to shut up. You bowed down because your ass knew you doing too much. You doing too much. You actually putting her opinion in, even though she wasn't there. And you know what? I'm not mad at that. It, she wasn't there, but if she heard it, and if she also seen your actions prior, she still got the right to say whatever she want to say, okay? And she wasn't wrong. So, you getting mad because she's on Monique's side, and you talking about, and she's talking about she's getting paid to say whatever she is saying. Not the fact that that girl's her friend, but you feel like she's getting paid. And like she said, I'm married to a millionaire. Like, why would I need to get paid? I don't give a fuck if I'm married to a, 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 a hundredaire. Like, whatever. That's my friend, and I'm going to say what I feel. Everybody's not going to kiss your ass, Candace, okay? So instead of saying okay or being respectful and just saying how you feel without insulting her, you go and say, um, well, you ain't going to be married for long. What the fuck? Like, you are you crazy? Are you crazy? Like, this is why. Have we not learned nothing? Girl, you went to Howard. 
Well, common sense got to be a natural thing. But where you go to school at, you need to have common sense, okay? And shut the fuck up sometime, all right? Girl, you just sit here and say that Ashley won't be married for long. Girl, do you not realize that that shit can happen to you? Because the way Chris spoke your ass out at the table, he looked like he is just, I don't know, one episode away from divorcing your ass, all right? This motherfucking shit right here is the storyline, but the next storyline is gonna be you going through a divorce with Chris because you are getting him into some motherfucking shit with the husbands, okay? He look like he can back this shit up, but it's like, man, what, you, you gonna get him in some lawsuits too? Because on the last episode, it looked like Michael, no, it looked like Chris, your husband, touched Michael. So if Michael wanted to pop off on Chris, he has every right. And he can also sue your husband, all right? He could do that. That's why you got to be careful with fucking with people with these lawsuits and shit like that. Because shit can come back on you, like real talk. So it's on you, girl. It's on you. It's on you. So... So, Candace shut the fuck up with that. She tried to talk to her a little bit differently. But, you know, I don't think that shit gonna... It, it, it's it's gonna be some issues with that. And, um, now she's on to Karen. Do not want Monique to have any friends, basically. And that's not gonna happen. You know, that's not gonna happen. Like, you know, everybody need friends. Monique did not do anything, like, fucking disturbing like that. Like, Monique didn't have no motherfucking knife in her hand trying to kill a bitch. Like, yeah, 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 she said this, she said that. But you people say a lot of stuff when they're angry, okay? Monique, this is her first fight on the show. I can see if she was slapping bitches left and right every episode, but she has not, okay? So, basically, they're mad at Karen because she won't pick a side. Karen's not going to pick a side. Y'all didn't stop talking to Robin when she did what she did as far as walking up to that girl, acting like she was going to fight her. So, I don't know, like, it's just... Oh, you're going to make someone pick a side involuntarily because you are getting on my nerves. So now, bam, pick the side. I'm over here. Right or wrong, I'm over here. And that's where Karen is about to be. Um, I think it was fucked up that Karen um, mentioned about pressing charges if that's, Mo if that's if Monique is her friend. And it's kind of weird that the girls was like, oh, you're pressing charges? Oh, you want her to go to jail? Yeah, bitch. What the fuck did you think when you suggested about pressing charges? I mean, come on now. Do you not know what pressing charges mean? It means you go to jail. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh, yeah, I thought y'all was playing Monopoly. Oh, this is real life. You go to jail. Like, that's what the fuck it is. And maybe, maybe y'all was thinking like, this girl, she's not going to take it there. But Candace, she's such a, um, she's extra. She's extra. So, in the real world, the charts got dropped because this is, like, recorded. And so that's good because maybe the judge saw that they were like, you know what? You contribute to this. You This was not an attack. Like, you wasn't walking down the street and some bitch just attacked you or I don't know why it got dropped. But I'm glad it got dropped because it was just stupid. This girl got kids. Like I said, you got to be careful, Candace, with who you try to fuck with press charges on your mother who hit you with a purse you know that shit can come back on you you know because like i said if uh things go left with this fight michael can easily press charges on you know your husband so then what like you really need to be careful like if you're not gonna, if you you have to understand that everybody does not have your same upbringing you can talk all that shit but that don't mean that people gonna be willing to participate in talking shit some people might actually pop you okay and you better be glad also that you have security around and also that monique i don't i would love to know monique why did you why did you hear candace like that why did you why did she do that girl she was like, <laughs> like you pop the girl was it like like i'm gonna discipline you because i remember you said something about something about how her mama raised her or something like that was it was it like a dis disciplinary type thing with the open hand like pow that shit was fucking funny nevertheless um, the adult of me will say again, you shouldn't have hit her. But, <laughs> girl, we understand why. 
Anywho, Candace, shut your mouth, girl. You have a lot of mouth and you're not backing it up. And then you want to sue. So I need you to like zip it, zip, zip, zip it. Um, or if you don't zip it, just understand that uh, this shit might happen again. If the judge believes your story and never heard mine, I could be arrested in front of my kids. Thank you guys for watching my review.